Hey everybody, welcome back. So today Chantelle has uploaded a mukbang. She was very careful to put pre-recorded in the title, it did get cut off, but it's a cheesy barbecue chicken mukbang. Um, I have mixed feelings about the fact that she's uploaded it at all. I know in her last video I got pretty angry at her. It was really more just failing to even try than, than anything else. Uh, I think she deserved... what's the word? She owed it to them to at least give it an attempt as much as I wasn't sure it was going to be successful. I did think it was going to be too much for her. I didn't think starting was going to be too much for her. But there we go. But my mixed feelings today, even though she claimed she wanted to do it her own way and, and you know, she, she wanted to be herself, which are two mutually exclusive things, I think. If she wants to be herself and do things her own way, like, she's not going to lose weight. But separate from that, what do you guys think? Put down below in the comments. Do you think, even pre-recorded, and she's making a point to say it's pre-recorded, she should be benefiting from mukbangs if she's saying she's trying to get healthier? Because this is something she's already recorded. It was before all these attempts. So should she be doing that? I'm not sure. I think if you're going to take a step into a healthier lifestyle, even if it's not as extreme a step as maybe that program would have been I think the first thing to do with anything is sort of a no-fail environment and that means removing some of these things from your life and just I think especially given the backlash she had for her last video it, it's very tone deaf to then upload a mukbang pre-recorded or not uh, so I'm I'm not sure about it but we're gonna watch it and we're gonna see I've seen the first few minutes and that's it. I've also, I've downloaded this because I was having issues uh, screen grabbing it straight from YouTube, but um, I've got her on a slightly increased speed. It shouldn't make a difference, but should help me a little bit. <laughs> Let's see. Happy Mother's Day. When's Mother's Day in the US? Was it recently? Well, hello guys, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna do something a bit different. so. She's wearing that lipstick she got in her Sephora haul. And that, that was a while ago. And looking behind her, that's, um, that air fryer isn't there. So when we say this was a while ago, it was before she got her air fryer. You can usually see that from where she's sitting, unless it's been cropped out. But um, how long ago was that? That seems very long. Hang on. Okay guys, I found the video she got her lipstick in, and it was the vegan BLT and fries mukbang. <laughs> so, I think this video that we're getting right now is from beginning of May. The vegan BLT and fries mukbang was uploaded 30th of April. Looking at her makeup, uh, I, I think it's close to that because she's still using the lipstick and we haven't seen it since. I don't think she enjoyed it very much and she's wearing the same top. She does repeat outfits a lot. Um, her eye makeup, she's got mascara on in, in the vegan BLT video, but uh, she doesn't seem to be wearing it in this one. I don't like that look, by the way. You can have a bold lip, but I think she needs mascara with the rest of the makeup. So either she's taken the mascara off and this is later the same day, or there's been a bit of a change up in the background it could be the next day, but I think it's close to that. So this is a really old mukbang. Like, when I film this, it's the 17th of May. So it's over two weeks old. Also, if this was the vegan post, she, I mean, she made a point of saying, well, I'm not, I'm not vegan, guys. But going from a vegan sandwich and some clear intentions, even if not 100% vegan, to cheesy chicken, consistency, thy name is Chantal. We're going to do a type of cupbang style video for today, and Pete will be joining us in a moment. He's talking to his mama. Today, we are going to try a new recipe, and it is um, chicken. I have some chicken, nice chicken breast. I've never tried stuffing my own chicken breast, so I'm going to try that with some ingredients I have on hand. So I'm going to put some caramelized onions, some cheddar cheese in there, then I'm going to like uh, put a bit of um, seasoning and barbecue she sauce on the chicken breast, and put a little bit more cheese on top. We're going to have some mashed potatoes with that and some stuff, just a side of veggies that will be lightly buttered and some salt. So, first things first, we're going to caramelize it. Sounds onions. very fatty. We'll get that out of the way. So, like, even if you don't, even if it's chicken, 
cheese inside and outside the chicken, butter on all the potatoes, whatever vegetables. Um, I don't know, this sounds very fatty. It's gonna hurt her stomach. Cut it in here. I might be cutting onions. I just. I hate it so much, it makes me cry. Uh, uh, probably gonna so subscribe to that joke again. That won't be the reason people unsubscribe. Okay. Yeah, I mean, does anyone have any tricks for this crap? <laughs> if she hates this so much, why is she making us watch it? Like, why not just. I'm gonna let it go because it's gonna take a why, why not cut it first and just have it ready for the sake of the video? Come on. If I'm really impatient and crabby, I end up peeling like a whole other She just did a cut. Why Should not I... cut this whole thing out and be like, okay, the onion's done. Patience is over cheap. Alright. Not, but this is not. Oh. All these onions to be like. She's gonna take off a finger. Calm down. <laughs> I know I've sped it up, but. She nearly took herself out then. It'd be easier to stand it. Maybe not for you, but... Yeah, you're gonna take a finger. Usually with like older onions, they have like a little bit of a crunch. Yeah, you're gonna have to like stand up and like stretch your legs and stuff. Yeah, you're gonna have to like stand up and stretch your legs and stuff. Yeah, you're gonna have to like stand up and stretch your legs and Sweetheart, that top isn't going to fit for very long. But you look from the side, it's looking quite tight there. I mean, she holds a lot of her weight up front, but mm, be careful with that, honey. You're going to have to go shopping. Right, so I have a little pan. I need to get a frying pan and I need to get a bigger pot. I'm going to get some Dutch oven mitts. I think they're called Dutch oven mitts. Yeah, they're called Dutch oven mitts. Olive oil? Fun fact about olive oil, heating it up ruins the health benefits. So that. use it cold and get cold pressed or don't bother using it. It's not going to be any healthier than any other oil. I'm going to heat for just a minute. We're gonna add onions. Okay. Well, I'm gonna add a bit of water. Just a splash. So that's what they look like right now. Okay. I'm gonna let them cook down until they're nice and golden brown. Alright, so we're gonna do that in water? Four washed potatoes, all different sizes. Just need enough for us to make mashed potatoes for tonight. Alright. Oh, potatoes is quite a lot. I suppose it's a nice medium cheddar. And I'll be for, yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> How much cheese is she cutting off that block? I suppose it's going in the chicken breast. Is she putting it in the potato as well? That's a lot of cheese. That's not so good. I love my actual scale. I don't know how big the blocks are, to be fair. I gotta really get it. See if this one is not. Because we want to stuff it with cheese too, right? So that should be enough. If not, we're going to make it pretty good. Pick your nose. cheese. Now, some people add a pinch of sugar to the onions to make them caramelize better. However, we don't have sugar. And I feel like we could do it without the sugar, so we're going to do that. All right, we're going to make the barbecue sauce for the... Oh, is she making her own? And this is just like... No, this is the buffalo. This recipe out of my ass right now. <laughs> just using things that... That's a bottle of barbecue sauce. That's not a recipe. recipe. And it's like a kind of home inspiration. And really, you can just... That's barbecue have, like, sauce, right? She's not making it. I'm going to come up with, like, good recipes. Just I'm just using bowl. If you've pre-bought it, it's not a recipe. This is a thing I see in uh, American thing uh, recipes a lot, actually. I know she's Canadian, not American. Where it's like, a recipe, because I, I like to bake, recipe for a chocolate cake. Get a chocolate cake mix. And I'm like, that is not a recipe. <laughs> she's not making barbecue sauce. From the looks of it, she is seasoning barbecue sauce. That's not the same thing. Why? Well, the original barbecue sauce? It's just a show, like, you don't need fancy ingredients. When you pre-buy it. You can just try to make it with what you have in the house. And that's really what I'm trying you to do, do, honestly. Sorry to get stuck on this. You're not making do with a barbecue sauce recipe. You bought barbecue sauce. So we're going to add some onion powder. Mm -hmm. Just a bit, because we have onions. Probably don't even need onion powder, but I put it in there. Onion, you Garlic don't. powder. The holy grail, the holy trinity. Garlic powder, onion powder, paprika. Well, pepper, salt and pepper, but besides that. Does barbecue sauce Does not already have all those things in? I mean, maybe you want the stronger flavor. Think. That's not even, that's not even me being picky to, to criticize. Like, genuinely, doesn't it already have those things in? A little bit of salt, sea salt. Oh, sea salt makes it healthy. And I'm gonna try adding some Cajun seasoning. You can add whatever seasoning you like, really honestly. It's gonna be quite it's a mix of things. But Cajun seasoning is spicy, you just want it to be spicy. Give it a little stir. We're gonna put this on the chicken. Okay. And make it in the oven. Ooh, it smells so good. Mm. This is going to be 
delicious. I'm going to boil the potatoes at the same time that the chicken is in the oven, and I'm going to prep the chicken mix. So my oven is preheated to 350, still waiting on those onions. Um, every time the water would evaporate, I would just add a little more, because that really does help caramelize them. How does that help caramelize? I have some questions about her cooking here. I don't know if, again, I'm being overly picky. If you're adding water, you're going to deglaze the onions. The whole point of caramelizing is that you don't deglaze that, isn't it? I feel like when I say things that are super obvious like that, I'm like, wait, is it so obvious that I've got that wrong? If you're cooking, I mean, sweat them out so they're soft, but then every time you add water, you're going to take off that glaze and the whole point of caramelizing them is you want to keep that, isn't it? I'm confusing myself. I got chicken nuggets. Don't mind the boxes, we still haven't broken up yet. Um, I broke up. Yeah, we know you haven't broken up the boxes yet. This is definitely odd. Your cat shat on them the other day in your live stream. And they're still pretty much in, in one piece. They've got to clean up their apartment, man. Little thing about Pete's here, and genuinely, I don't mean this to be mean. I was going to say not judging, but I'm a reaction channel. I'm always judging. But is it just me, or does Pete seem to be putting on a little bit of weight? It could just be a really unfortunate shot, uh, because those happen, but he, I feel like he's holding more in his belly now. And, you know, living together with someone who overeats does give you more opportunity to overeat. I think, didn't he say at one point he gained a lot of weight last time he was with her? But he's, like, he doesn't hold his weight in many places, but he's looking a tiny bit in his neck, but in his belly there, he's holding it all up front there. And I hadn't noticed that before about him. A lot of boxes though, or something in the bag. So uh, I got Pete's stirring onions, it's gonna help. I am helping. <laughs> Good job. Show for your t-shirt. Give you a stop. We watched this movie yesterday. The onions are starting to caramelize. <laughs> Three stop sure. putting water on them. Oh, these have the filet in them too. Ugh. She's mm -hmm. ripping into that chicken breast with her fingers. Well, Chances that she washed her hands again. Okay, what we're gonna do after is... After she rubbed her nose when she was doing the barbecue sauce. <laughs> but we're gonna try. Cat's still That's on the it. counter while she cooks. Chicken mat for you. Yeah. Mat for chicken. The fillet's kind of... She's put a full out hold in, hold, hole in the side of that. All the stuff's going to come out. I kind of cut too deep in this one here. Yeah, you want to put like, okay. a pocket in it. No, Sam, you bees and you bees. Sam, you also, while she's hacking that apart, it doesn't seem very even. She's going to want an even cook, isn't she? Criticize, criticize, sorry. Sam. No, it's not Sam. Not your chicken. <laughs> Alright guys, this is my first time. The so we got these cut up in here. Food. And the onions are still caramelizing, so we'll be right back. 30 minutes for caramelizing. Oh, what is... Oh, I looked up to the camera to ask about the onions and I looked down. Honey, Chantelle, that's not... That's not a good shot of you. In the middle there. If you are cutting things, that would be a shot to cut. You're not doing yourself favours there. That was showing a lot of your belly. You didn't need the internet to see. There was seriously no need for that shot as well. And then it was hanging. Because that shirt's gotten tighter, it's starting to ride up. Oh, that was unfortunate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that was unfortunate. If you were cutting out things, you could have cut that. There's the onions. That's good enough for us. We're going to use that to stuff the chicken. And... We got some potatoes gonna be boiling here for some mashed potatoes. Okay. Hi Sam. <laughs> Sam. So you can pull it okay, down so now. You're behind the counter now. Pirates dish, which is big enough for the two breasts we're gonna be. <laughs> I can't say breasts without so. Yeah, Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna put a bit of the cheese, stuff it in the hole. <laughs> that was too much, eh? That was too vulgar. Stuff it in the hole. Yeah. Always take the low hanging fruit. It's gonna be good. If she's going to bait the chicken breast, I don't know if I would have boiled the onions to death first because surely they'll cook, they'll cook in the oven, like start them off, but... Are you doing anything in particular with the onion to the left? Nope. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can eat them. I think they've got mashed potatoes. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, you're right. Good idea. Let's be... the leftovers and mashed potatoes. Let's be <laughs> optimistic and say she wants to stuff that chicken. I think it's probably good to have a toothpick or something, but whatever. Yeah, it is. We don't. Yeah, we are just, um... There's a whole lot that we don't have yet. Pretty much. Alright. Like a brush thing, so I have to put this on manually, but 
with my hands, which is fine, right? We don't even have, like, a toilet plunger yet, do we? We don't have a plunger, but we have brushes. I've been, I just cleaned my toilet today. I don't think I'd want to... And you've no. washed your hands, obviously. Okay, I don't think I'd want to equate toilet brushes with a cooking. I know. <laughs> Why is this the emergency on? running out to the store last minute. Was that just yeah, the look of the barbecue sauce right? reminding yeah. me? Oh, with the fingers as well. It's not. And make sure Why? Now I'm sure there's a more graceful way to do this, but you know what? There's a cleaner Where's way to do it. Oh shit! Wait. She just dipped her arm. So Think for a moment. That was like here. That's right. Assuming she uses deodorant right in the deodorant zone. If she does, that goes. If she doesn't, it's whatever was under there. Now she's got barbecue sauce under there. It hangs down. It's gonna. Ru oh. That's gross. You guys are probably shaking your heads at me, but it's gonna taste. Wipe it off. Well, what, what? Now you put your sweat in it. She just put her arm down. It's gonna be all over her top. Usually means like. No, usually. This like shot again of just her midsection. It doesn't need to be there. He's always naughty. He's always naughty. There is no need for this. He's a mix. He's a sussy little mix. I'm washing my hands very well because I just handled chicken. It's not gonna matter now you put your armpit in it. It's no good washing your hands after you've covered the chicken. Are you eat? Yes. Oh. You don't want to get the E. coli. No. Oh, that's at least okay. your worries right now. Oh, Wiping oh, her oh, hands oh. on her pants first. <laughs> Because clearly they're clean. Nice to be messed out. Unfortunate angles all around. They're gonna always be messing with you. Any three-letter word or any three-syllable word where the middle syllable has an O sound in it. I don't even want to be mean there. I'm saying like she wants to present herself nicely. She wants these cut bands to be become a thing. Like you could easily cut these things to make yourself look a lot better and not open yourself up for criticism on the internet. Like you chose not just to leave this in, but to edit around it and still leave it in. That's true. And it works perfectly. Fingers <laughs> in the dish, All wiped right, on the trousers cheese. again. See here, guys? I'm just gonna top that with some cheese here, cheddar cheese. Even though Pete's took some off the plate. Yep, so here's the dirty hands cheese. that have just touched the cat and been and in the I cheese. Stole it. Three shreds. <laughs> you bad boy. I am, I totally am. Okay. There we go, guys. So, we're gonna put this in a 350 degree oven so that I don't want the sauce to burn, but I want the chicken to cook. And, oh, and a ham. And the potatoes are boiling. And Pete's had a very good idea. We're gonna put this in the leftover mashed potatoes. So, let's get to it. Dude, let's get to it. <laughs> or something. <laughs> You're still in my sand. Is this like single white female where you're trying to become Fumi Beauty? And before I know it, you're gonna gain 100, 200 pounds. Why is this in the video? <laughs> no. You ever see that movie, Single White Female? Uh, no, I've seen, I think I've seen like bits and pieces of it, like when I was channel surfing like 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so guys, we're we'll right back. We're gonna make some chicken and 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 we're chicken breast. Just using the ingredients we had here. I mean, to be fair, if I hadn't seen the way you'd prepared it, that would look pretty delicious. Vegetables and potatoes. Don't eat a pickle, okay. but there's nothing here. Yeah, Alright. Right. I just ran through that. That's okay. Okay, so. Oh, Pull this water. <laughs> the straw is okay, so, so brown. Regular water. Pull this water. Check description. Regular water. <laughs> check your tap or water bottles or whatever. If you want to. Yeah, check description if you want to have um, be entered to enter to win your own. And if you want to use my code to get your own bottle of discount. So I'm so excited to dig into this. Might be a bit hot, so be careful. I want to see the center here. I think it's fused shut. Oh, here. But you filled it with cheese. The onions inside? Is it good? Yeah, cheese it's melts, right. it's going to. Be right. Mmm. Not bad, eh? Nope. Hot. You just got it out of the oven. <laughs> I'm curious how my suggestion came out. Can't really taste them, they're really bad any, but you might want to add some salt because try not to add too much salt. That definitely makes a difference. Wait, didn't didn't she add that to the barbecue mix though? 
I thought she'd already done that. That onion? Yeah, a little bit of onion. It oh. really does uh, change the flavor a little bit. Cool. Good job, Pete. Yeah, because just the, like I had no idea if that was something that even like worked or not. It was on the way. I don't cook ever at all. <laughs> well, you don't need to be a cook to make good things. I'm not a chef. But you do cook. Yeah. Oh. Just let me have dinner with you. Probably gonna watch a movie later. Right? Yeah. Hmm. I'm uh I'm hoping it'll be boring, but we'll see. <laughs> we have to keep it PG. Oh. <laughs> so this is a thick ass chicken breast, eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was gonna say it's quite sizable. Thick breast on. Yeah. She can't just wait. She's already eaten half the breast and it's still burning hot. Cut it open, wait a minute. Well, take a drink of water, it's cold. <laughs> True. I will be. I think it's um a bit too thick, the chicken. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Just Slice it and roll it, maybe? <clears throat> I think I could, would like to uh, stuff it with, like, cream cheese and stuff. Do it, she I'm didn't like, hack it <laughs> quite badly when she was doing it. Like, she could have made it more. Nope. I'm going to try it. Probably. Pete's always determined not to continue the conversation. So thanks for cooking with us. That was fun. And I stirred the onions briefly. Yeah. That counts as helping. You had a central roll. Yep. <laughs> Careful. Yeah, I guess it takes more weeks. I uh, know. <laughs> Seriously? You've already devoured that much of the chicken like, breast and you're gonna talk to him about taking yeah. smaller bites? Don't even. Oh my, oh yeah. <laughs> Clean the. She says that um, it's stained, which it would be like the the straw. That's one of the reasons I hate built-in straws because they do stain. But the color of that staining has been changing, not necessarily just getting with, but changing color, which means it's dirt. So, yeah, that's gross. We're saying we're going to see our mothers, and uh, we are going to be careful. The whole corona thing. They're starting to lift the restrictions anyways, like to smaller gatherings in your immediate family. But no more than like five people. But that's um, the rule here. Still be careful. Still be careful. It's my birthday tomorrow. I'm having uh, some people that live in the compound here. So I'm already exposed to them because I have to go to work with them. I'm going to have dinner with them tomorrow. And we're picking up today. And uh, if the store requires that you wear a mask and use hand sanitizer, just freaking do it. Don't complain on Twitter about it. Yeah. Some people complaining. Yeah, and Twitter was complaining about going to uh, going to a department store to pick up uh, a toaster oven, mm -hmm. and you know they had you had to wear a mask, you had to use hand sanitizer, and all these restrictions in place. And mm -hmm. Yeah, damn them trying to save your life. Truly lives. oppression, truly the greatest oppression. <laughs> Being forced to be careful when going shopping. I know. Although I do take issue with um, Chantel being like, I know, with the amount of time she goes out and goes to the grocery store and does the things. Like, it's all very well rolling your eyes and shaking your head at other people for not being safe, but you could do a lot to limit the amount of contact you have with the outside world. We're going to, like, introduce the pets a little bit. So we have to open it a crack and, like, let them sniff, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's a good way to... I don't know, so I can look at other ways to do that. For anyone who missed the live stream she did the other day, um, she ended it when one of the cats just shat all over the boxes. That she um, that she still had left on her floor. What two weeks later? So obviously the introduction of a new cat into the hierarchy is going well. Sorry. Okay. Plates are huge. Mm -hmm. I forgot my coffee was here. We're gonna have to get some different plates at some point. Well, whatever. Plates have to size my torso. Yeah, it's really a big plate, but heavy. And they don't feel like my boys. So this is my third and final meal. I had my snack earlier. I'm having three meals. And bear in mind this was two weeks ago, so it's not relevant to her current plans to healthy eat. Yeah. That's what I'm doing right now. Like <laughs> trying not to eat junk and eat at night and binge and stuff like that. So I'm gonna breathe with you. 
Bear in mind, this is also pre her fast food funeral and all that stuff. This was a whole previous cycle. Make it through tonight. Make it through tonight as she shoves food in her mouth. Look, let's be fair. Let's be fair. This meal isn't so bad. It wouldn't be if it weren't gross. And um. So yeah. Shira comes back on Friday. Woo! Final season. Yeah? Yeah. The cartoon? Yeah. Is it cocktail? Or um sensitive question. <laughs> kid appropriate. Yeah. But it's It's kid appropriate in a way to weasel out the idea that he might as an adult enjoy it. Which is fine. Like I'm not I'm not knocking him for wanting to watch it, but um <laughs> that was a bit of a weasel out there. Made by people who love the franchise, love what they're doing. I remember she ra when I was um, a kid. I loved it when I was a kid. Yeah, I, mean, it's made for... I should point out, I have no problem with adults watching cartoons. Uh, I used to be really into anime myself. Like, no, I'm not giving him shade for that, but it was just funny the way he phrased it. <laughs> She's like, is it for kids? Um, awkward. It's another of the shows that's meant as sort of all ages. Meaning, kids can enjoy it, but adults aren't going to be tearing their, trying to rip their eyes out. Okay. So, for breakfast I had my two Ezekiel toast, lightly buttered, one with jam, and then I had... Oh, it's that day. So, I had that, and then I had two eggs, and one cheese slice mixed in. Oh no, she just had <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> you seem to be on. Good job. That's what you say. And then for lunch I had one of those mean um, entrees, and a big, big salad with my vinaigrette. Then for a snack I had a little packet of those apricots, one of those yogurts, and now I'm having this dinner. And yeah, I'm gonna have my evening drink, and uh, all I had to drink was water. Mm -hmm. My coldie, and that's it. So you can kind of see how this fits in with some of the other mukbangs that she posted. Didn't she post a big chicken salad mukbang at some point? So it's in that kind of day period. That's it for today. I stuck to everything I planned. I took last night, I planned out what I was gonna eat today. So, yeah. I said that's all. So anyways guys, probably won't film the video. Um, should we film the video tomorrow? Maybe I don't know. None of this is relevant. Right, this so is an old video. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so I guess that's it for now. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye. Okay then. Well... There we have it. Um, I mean, a mukbang is a mukbang. It's not the most interesting... Uh, other than the fact that it's an old one. Uh, when she doesn't put things that are up to date, that usually tells me that what's going on right now with her isn't good. She might just want a break from the backlash of everything that happened before. And so she's uploading this older video. Uh, I think it is a mistake to do it. Whatever she's eating, she's eating. And either she's using this as an excuse to eat like crap in her life right now or she just being lazy or you know that she if she was eating like this now she could film herself eating like this now given everything that's happened i think she would have been better just to lose lose the footage and be like okay i won't use this um then to post a mukbang right after everything that happened but those are my opinions feel free to put your own down below and i will see you next time Bye bye